the soundboard's lit. Oh, this isn't even. No, this is the soundboard. Um. What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You got Omicron for CI? It doesn't say like the variant, but it's for sure Rona. Like I got tested. I got the net. I got the I got the brain tickler. Damn. So you're here putting everyone at risk. You're putting all of us at risk now? Yeah. What's everybody drinking okay. though? Um we're not we don't have any mixers in the house, so I again have Crystal Light and Gin, which is a terrible <laughs> drink. <laughs> you wanna talk about this nineteen ninety two Subaru Loyal for excuse me, this nineteen ninety two Subaru Subaru Loyal? Subaru, Subaru. Listed a week ago in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, I think oh. this is. Looks cool. Okay, so I found this. I found this the other day, and I mean, fuck, dude, I really might buy it. Oh, I, I, I don't have any fucking room at all anymore for cars. Like I'm, I'm at Park the limit right now. I have three. Well, I, one of the cars is my father-in-law's, but come like New Year's, that'll be out of the out of the driveway. But I have three cars in the driveway and two in the garage right now. How many of and them run? All of them run. <clears throat> Did they ever make the Loyal in, in manual? Mm hmm. I wish it was manual. But yeah, this is not a matter. But, but look, mm -hmm. it's it's low mileage mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. in really good condition. Four it runs drive. smooth. It runs smooth, yeah. It runs smooth. Does the beer, the the beer wants, come with it? The guy wants too much for it, though. What if you sold the Baja? No. Bro. I mean,. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sell Bruh. it. Yeah. Tell him, ask him if he'll take a Baja for this. Oh, that's not cool. No, that would, that would be the stupidest thing. <laughs> I, I imagine he would. <laughs> yeah, he'd be an idiot not to. Yeah. It looks nice. Ask him, ask him if he'd it's, take a case of whatever really that beer is for it. It is really clean. It's yeah, yeah. driven by a drunk. Oh, here's some rust on the stud. <laughs> Where? Uh, on the front fender. Like no, back, yeah, right back, the back by the, the mud fender. flap and yeah. up on the uh, the top of the arch there. I mean, still though, like Let it's me... probably a New Mexico car. Like it's probably fine. You never leave New Mexico. Look at that rust. You got a couple of years with it. Oh still. yeah, there is a little bit of rust there. What bucket? Oh, and on the fender too. There could have been pile. This thing sucks. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. Nah, nope. Get your nope. money out of this. Does this change your opinion work. on it? Yeah. Well, where's the hold on? Where's the where's the rust on the fender? Look. On, on all along the wheel arch, all along the front wheel arch, uh, back by the mud you flap, the right above back it. There, yeah. Back by the, yeah, above the mud flap. And yeah, but... and there's a hole directly at like the 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 apex of the, <laughs> the vendor. More like gay. No, I think that's, oh! that's, that's like a little the apex loyal. <laughs> that looks like a little. That looks like a little dent. That looks like a little dent that like grew a little bit of surface for us. That looks like a rusty yeah. hole to me. Either either way though, like. This it's rust is rusty fine fender. for 3K. Oh, and look yeah. uh, look back in front of the rear wheel. That's either a waffled up uh, pinch weld or some sort of rust going on back there, too. In front of the rear... I'm looking on... Uh... Oh, I see what you're talking about. No, that's... Uh... There's a little guard there. If you look at the driver's side of the car, you can see that... that You can see the guard thing better. Mm -hmm. There's something I really oh, I like. I what you're talking about, yeah. 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 Something I really like about these, like, old, early dumb all-wheel drives like just all mechanical they're they look like nothing these cars look like completely forgettable sedans but they're like hey all-wheel drive yeah you can you can go over dirt <laughs> you can do anything you can do any, any like the sky's yeah. the limit with that car so aside from that rust do we see anything else messed up about this loyal other than the rust and there's a beer in the center console <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> this was the only car this guy could afford after he got his DUI. Yeah, I mean, this looks cool, but dude, you have too many cars. Stop. Yeah, quit. Sell one. Yeah. Preferably the Baja. Yeah. Or else. ASAP. Well, I got some shit coming in for the Baja. Better be a fucking for sale sign. <laughs> Bat listing? No, I got new shocks. And I got the struts and, and shocks or whatever all around. And then I went ahead and ordered all new springs. Because, like, for the, I was initially going to order new springs for it, and I was looking on, like, the, the website, and I was like, oh, the springs are discontinued. But then I failed to realize that the spring that superseded fits on the left or the right, and it doesn't matter. Because the, or the originals had a left part number and a right part number, and the new part number was like, fuck it, put it anywhere, I don't give a fuck. But I never looked at it, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, I can, the new part number is, is either side. And so I ordered all that shit. Tight. Lit. Ick. So we're still shooting for spring on the on the Baja. Yep, spring twenty three.
appetite. Two, uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Uh, that's a womp 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 <laughs> at best. I mean, nah, that's for y'all in the last five prices wrongs. Oh. Yeah, oh. Damn. We'll get there. We'll get there. How about a 14,000 mile 2004 Hummer H2, which sold for $58,200 today. Yeah. It has 14,000 original miles. Why? It's the 6 liter V8. Is that what like Hummers go for? Do we. I didn't even check Dude, comparables on yeah. this. Yeah. and I it... were talking about this, and we're like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, Pull look at the sticker. The how, much was it, how much was it new? That's a good question. Because well, I, said it, I said the TCF comparables, bro. Was it that's probably what it was new? It was fifty-seven thousand yeah, eight hundred fifty dollars new. Christ, and that guy made his money back. Yeah, well, not for, not with inflation, but I mean, not bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not bad. Uh, I mean, he put he put a thousand miles on it a year, so not the best investment ever. Yeah, yeah, but like you know, if he bought that in 04, probably between like seven to ten, he was only driving that a thousand miles because he couldn't afford the gas in it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what killed him. And we were talking about it's like it's like these things were kind of like fucking shit on for the longest time. Like they were kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still poop on them. Yeah, like they were a cringe car. Yeah, and I kind of I still think they were a cringe car. I think most of us don't really like these. I think they're fine. But I, I wouldn't drive. I, I I couldn't drive one. The stigma has always been that these suck. Yeah, I have I'll ride them. And I'll they're... ride my friends, but I'm not gonna drive it. How much do these weigh? They're, I think they weigh like six or seven thousand pounds. More than you can afford, pal. <laughs> Look at the sticker. Look at the window sticker. Hold on, I'm looking at it. Sixty-six hundred pounds. Yeah. All right. So as a comparison, right? This was built on the GMT 800 frame, which is like. Suburbans the suburban. at the time, yeah. Uh, and shit, Wikipedia doesn't say what it weighs. The fuck's a suburban? Look, it's sinking 600? into the ground. <laughs> the it's very it's earth trying cannot to support its weight. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So a regular GMT eight hundred weighed fifty three hundred pounds. So like you added a thousand pounds, and the best motor you got was like a six point two in these things. And then with driver, this weighs easily seven thousand plus pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, I've driven them. I didn't think there were anything special. It just felt like a suburban that had artificial testosterone injected. Yeah, I don't know. Why would you take off your cowboy hat and ride it to take a picture? That was the next question. It kind of looks like a banana peel mixed with ET's face. This is yeah, giant right. yogurt slinger. You should see a doctor. Yeah, that's a good point. How come what Brock said? It, it's on a three-quarter ton burb chassis, which was colloquially. Colloquially. co lo qui all li Colloquially. God, I can't say that word. Known as the Duraburb, because you could get a Suburban with a Duramax in it. Or oh, the Dur Duraburb. The dur yeah, but that's the funny part is like these things, these things still came with just a six liter. Was that the biggest engine they were offered? Did, was there a diesel option on these? Uh, no, not these. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but w what would you rather have, a Dur Bourbon? Or... Oh yeah, all that. No, 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 no. A Dur, a Dur Bourbon or a Discursion? Discursion, one hundred percent. And that's yeah, just because probably. I like Ford shit for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd go for a Discursion. I mean, this is big, but I mean, really, the excursion has to have a few feet on this, right? I think lengthwise. Hey. I don't know about widthwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, widthwise. As a person who likes square SUVs, this thing's fugly. Damn. Yeah. And you know I like my boxy Toyotas. Now you're crazy. I, I think these look great on the outside. Nah. It's a cool look. It just looks oh. as big as the person driving it. Yeah. The dashboard said ice possible, and there's a lot of jokes to be made there. Hey. Yep, uh, I get you, but we're not going to make any of them. Moving on, <laughs> nope. we'll leave that up to you, the the, the, viewer, the viewer, the listener. Make the, all the make put the jokes down in the comments. What would you rather have? Would you rather have an H two or a fourth gen Forerunner? Forerunner. What kind of question is that? No, well, that's a dumb question. This is the dumbest question asked. In this I would have agreed with fan. you. I'm just asking <laughs> I, the, the question. Is, I I probably. We're not in the go, same like league though, really. Yeah, I, I'd probably go with the H2 just for the resale value, because the fourth gen. If I had to keep it and drive it, no, it has to be your foreigner. money though. Okay, yeah, fourth gen foreigner with the V8. Well, that shuts that yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, just these just 
like I don't know when I think you know late two thousands opulence. I think H2s. Yeah, like you'll really? probably be more comfortable in this compared to four three and four hundred, but I still don't want it for yeah. sure. The luxury trims are nice, but you just, I look at auctions like this and I go, I wonder if this is money laundering. This though, I this feels just like an old man bought something and didn't use it. Yeah. Money laundering is you know, so I got a like set of, the set of Ferrari uh, overinflated value that we're seeing on some of this crap. Like, who wants this and who wants to spend that much on it when you have insert other vehicle here that you could purchase that would be better at insert application here? I've accepted yeah. that everybody who buys a car on Bring a Trailer is some sort of oil baron and they're just collecting. Oh, they gotta be. They already yeah. have the other thing that you're thinking of. They're just vacuuming up all the cars. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's it's I like we'll give like it this. Those... The steering wheel is kind of sick. No, it's not. <laughs> no, the shift. It's like is it's, sick. Like, it's, it's unusually shifter. slim compared to the rest of the car. Yeah, it is. It looks like, like an, it looks like, like a sports car steering wheel. It looks like an '80s fucking AutoZone aftermarket steering wheel with the wooden ones. Yes, like that's the shape <laughs> that it is. It looks like a Grant GT steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it doesn't have an airbag in it. It looks really small. That is airbag. This is. I, this, I only exclusively drive things like, from the 90s and 2000s, so I'm used to an airbag being, like, the size of your head. <laughs> Ab airbags? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and also it flexes on you, yeah. Right. <laughs> Six-pack airbag. That's oh, look, you can still shut the passenger airbag off in one of these. Good. Based. Who needs it? Put all your babies up there. No big deal. Let you know. Let you know when you want your passenger to die. I'm going to shut this airbag off on you. That's that's Your explicitly party? so that you can put like a, a rear facing yeah um, car seat yeah so that's but for the person with with four anyway. car seats <laughs> yeah this does seem like an applicable vehicle for yeah, yeah but cars. like could you imagine though like in two thousand four and you're like well I could this buy a mini nice. or I could buy a Hummer yeah this genuinely looks pretty pretty nice on the interior yeah it's not that bad. shifter is weird as hell it is weird. It's a fucking crank, dude. Yeah, it's big, beefy, military, <laughs> manly, manliness. Made out of hard plastic with paint, <laughs> silver paint yeah, on it. Yeah, to make it look to make it look metal. You need two hands to crank it. Do. There's no way that's a piece of aluminum, right? That has to be a no, piece of it's hard plastic. plastic. Oh. Yeah, aluminum would burn your little handsy wansies. Oh, true. Nobody can afford that. <laughs> aluminum. Rear seat fun jack for rear seat entertainment. I'm just looking at parts bin buttons and stuff like oh yeah <laughs> every single one of that piece like is a parts bin different piece. colors yeah. well these are all the intimate details of an h2 oh my god there is no room back there but there is an extra seat that's interesting <laughs> which yeah. is funny too because look at how big this stupid thing is and you're telling me there's still no room back there no kidding i want to say there's an air compressor back there as well but that might have been an option there's a first aid kit. No, we're, we're done with the trunk. I didn't see any uh, air compressor, unfortunately. I know the H1s had that, like, um, yeah, like tire Yeah, H1s had self-fillers. Yeah. 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 You could deflate you, you and could, inflate you could the air tire. Up, you could air up and air down from inside. It's super cool. That's pretty neat. Well, God, the thing looks mint underneath. I like how the whole front folds forward like this thing wasn't intended for production. That's kind of cool. Like it's a semi-truck. Yeah. Or a Jeep. Or a school bus. <laughs> I mean, it's closer to the school bus. Yeah. A Jeep? Yeah, the Jeep goes the other way, actually. Yeah, Jeep yeah. goes the other way. Yeah, Jeep goes the other way, except it has the ability to fold the hood all the way back. Well, Pucci it's won eight that's... auctions this week, but he did not win. Hey, AV. Hey, dang, look at that big old axle. It's because that's how, that's how, like, Humvee opened this one? the hood. I did. Oh, you... And I guess they wanted yeah. to make it seem like a, like a real Humvee. God damn, you did win this one. Did you get the exact bid on this, or was that a different auction today? That was a different one. Yeah. Yeah, you know what we gotta do. Execute order 66. Yes. Get him. <laughs> oh, I have seen that movie. Oh, no, I have seen that movie. I've never seen Attack of the Clones. I think I've seen all of them, except for episode 9 at this point. Uh, I haven't watched anything after The Force Awakens. You didn't miss anything you could have yeah that's what there. i've been told yeah, I yeah seen the a... most recent one yeah the rogue one thing. and solo is the only shit worth watching oh, rogue no, one was even... good yeah i liked rogue, rogue one was amazing yeah i like solo if too you guys, solo's dope if you keep watching those movies they're gonna keep 
fucking making them, you idiot. I ain't watching the other ones. They suck. They're gonna keep making them anyway. It doesn't matter. Nope. Just, yeah. Don't nope. watch the ones they you don't only... want to watch. To be mm -hmm. honest, I only watch them on airplanes, so there's only a finite number of movies you can watch. This is yeah. true. Fair. I, I, and all the wolf movies are on fucking airplanes now too. Like, pisses me off. Like, I don't want to watch this dumb shit. Yeah, I watched uh, Your Name for the first time on an airplane. I was uh, very pleased what? with that. That's a good movie. Did you That's cry? That's a phenomenal movie. Yeah. Did I cry? Yeah. On an airplane in public? Yeah. You fucking bet I did. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we done with this H2, though. It's phenomenal, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, we're done with this H2. All right. Roll it, yeah. roll it, roll it. How about a 13,000 mile 1997 Honda Del Sol I... SI? I thought Del Souls went for more money. I'm not even gonna lie. Sixteen grand for a Del Sol. I, it's look, insane. I understand. Look, it's, I understand. It's, an... it's an automatic and it's the mid trim. Yeah. If it was a VTEC with a stick, it would be twenty plus. This is the single yeah. overhead cam VTEC. It's not, okay. but there is a dual overhead cam VTEC also. So yeah, it's the VTEC trim, which is kind of stupid. But oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, my bad. You're right. I like the seat. I love the seats in them. Yeah, with the uh, the offset stripe in them. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. dope. Looks pretty cool. But realistically, that's more than this guy was ever going to get on Facebook oh, Marketplace. For sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, you could let this sit on Craigslist for a year. You're not going to get 16 grand for it. Yeah, you'll maybe you'll get six or seven. Check out the and paint fade be... from people dumping gas down the side of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gags. Dude. Look at the bird shit on this one. <laughs> Couldn't even get the car clean. You don't need to try anymore, and you just get money out of Bring a Trailer. It's insane. Really, this is bird shit, right? Like on the door? It's Directly yeah. underneath the mirror? It's yeah, be. that's where a bird landed on the mirror and just shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're not on cars and bids. What are you doing? Right, come you're on. Doing. Clean this shit up. I like the color. Yeah, that's a super 90s color. Yeah. That's it's bird. It's bird person's. Well, it's all the same hole. Mm. Yep. So it's it's all of it. Yep. Nice. Birds are a very simple creature. <laughs> we could learn a thing or two. Yeah. Yeah. This is not the cleanest, but um, low mileage, cleanish. Sixteen thousand dollars. This broke Olaf's heart when he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Because he knows that it's just, it's never going to happen again. And so, the interior is really nice on this one, though, I will That's say. really, really clean. Yeah. How many miles? Uh, I think like 14,000. That might be the H2, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was 13K. 13,000. I don't think I won this one, did I? Um, I mean, that exterior lived a fucking kind of hard life for 13,000. That outside, man, that'll do it. Just haunted me. Yeah, paint. I guess, where is, it, where is it for sale at? Like, where do you think it lived? That'd be a good indicator. You did win this one, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Your bid was $10,300. I believe you were the high bidder. Because nobody no, so thought nobody that got, this would go for 16 Nobody got faith in it. <laughs> yeah. I think we all saw the exterior and said, nope, and then just then click through the rest of the photos. I saw that it was an automatic and not a VTEC trim, and it was like, there's no way this is going for over 10 k Nobody wants this. No. Wrong. Honda people are insane. As our H2 people, and really anybody that buys a car on BAT is insane. Yeah. You know, I kind of take it back, actually. He might have been able to get 16k out of this, putting it on Facebook or Craigslist. Just because Honda people are truly nuts. Like, bro, they see something this clean, the, the entire savings account is coming out to buy the <laughs> Del Sol. Dude, this is, for off. Honda person, this is a signature loan, let's be honest. I'll trade you four CRXs <laughs> that don't run. A various B and certain number here motors that should run. We've got six EG <laughs> shells. A field D16. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. A pallet of D16s. What's it gonna Double take? Double of SR20s before Race Force. Oh, that'd pull a premium. Is this faded or some sort of flag or. Blood. Oh. No, I think. Oh, no, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Blood. <laughs> Oh, it's like the uh, the Metallica album cover, yeah. <laughs> and blood, uh, mix it. Up. Mm. It's like the Metallica load album cover. Insert picture here. This is not as cool without the automatic trans top, I have to say. Which we didn't get in the states anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Trans tops matter. Keep rolling, rolling, yeah, rolling. Just, just keep rolling. <laughs>
Nice the greatest cock. Empire song, honestly. Does that say nice cock? Nice Obviously. cock. <laughs> well, actually, every every time that I hit the button, it actually makes Vukos talk. Nice cock. Yes, except it, for that time. Yeah, it does, it does say nice cock. It's broken. <laughs> What the fuck does nice cock mean in the context of bowling? In, in Wii Don't sports, worry about I'm it. I'm really not sure. The the button sound is nice cock Wii Sports. It's in the GIF beaten toast posted. Photographic evidence. You call it a GIF? It's a GIF. It is GIF. It's a fucking it's a GIF, you read. Un unfortunately, GIF. it is GIF. No, no it's fucking no. GIF. The graphics GIF. interchange format. GIF. Yeah, the guy it's that guy. created it calls it a GIF. The well, he's fucking wrong. Who cares? He's an idiot. Would you guys call the giraffe? What are you guys gonna jive your family for Christmas? Uh, God damn it, Netgear. He's got a point. Ah, oh, this read. <laughs> All right, S two thousand thirty five k miles sold for twenty eight five, which honestly seems kind of low for an S two thousand. Yeah, I think we have an S two thousand every time we do a pod, and we always say it's worth about thirty grand. So this one's blue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that interior is blue. Cute. Blue on blue, yeah. Cute, I do though. like the, the blue. I like the blue exterior. I do not like the blue interior. That is hard on the eyes. Well, it is not a well. problem. Yeah, but a lot of them came in blue. <laughs> blue on blue, yeah. Hmm. Hey, dude, take more pictures. <laughs> hey, pictures of the car. Is there bird shit on this one? It's the same angle every time. Seriously, this guy just didn't filter out his, like, his alternate shots or whatever. Yeah, yeah. the guy just, like, paid a guy to to take a bunch of photos of the car and just dump the whole thing on bring a trailer. Uh, I, I've skipped all Where's the way the interior? the meter. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, we no, we don't need that. Where is the inside? Meter. After the paint meter. Wow. Uh, you know what? Look I don't hate blue. it as much now looking at it's it. It's cute. It ain't bad. It's, it's, it's kind of purple in the light. Ooh. Period correct. I'd prefer black, but this is fine. Could it's, you get this exterior with a black interior? Probably. I'm pretty sure I've seen a blue one with a black interior. This looks comfortable as hell. Feels very welcome. Yeah. It's smaller the than nice. the MR2 for sure on the inside. Um, for real? It's been a long time since I've sat in the S2000 though. Yeah, like they're, the they're back, cozy. For sure. It's a small Japanese sports car. It's Miata MR2 S2K. Yeah, yeah. you wear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But smaller than a. Is it smaller than Miata inside? Nothing is smaller than a Miata on the inside right. for what it's worth. <laughs> Yeah, I've been hitting yeah. my head in the damn thing. Like I'm not six feet tall, so why the hell can I not? But but Reddit says so I'm over six head. feet and it's comfortable. That's what Reddit told me. Yeah, that dude's a liar. So <laughs> I don't know what it is about me. So I had a an NC and I'm six one, and in my early twenties it was no problem. I went to look at one in my insert older age here, and I was just like, no, this is not fucking happening. I'm too tall and I'm too fat. And you're the same be... height, but your weight increased four times. You could fit that, in a NC. Yeah. At, I, I don't think I've ever sat in an NC, but you could fit in one at six foot one. Yeah, comfortably. Although I did, so I had a soft top, but I sat in a hard top one, and maybe it was just my head brushing against the soft top and not caring. But no, mm -hmm. yeah, I was fine. But then this was also, like I said, fifteen some odd years ago. So have you ever sat in an NB? Yeah, no, I've done it. I drove plenty of NAs, NBs, and NCs in my life and okay. fit in all of them. Huh. Yeah, I'm brushing my head on the top of the soft top every time I drive it, and it's infuriating. Do these all come with push starts? Yeah. This, yeah. this is actually the car that popularized the aftermarket push start. Hmm. But you had to put the key in, turn it, and then push the key to, and then push start. Yeah. That's stupid. It's really stupid. I'm mad. <laughs> But yeah, this is the car that made that popular, similar to how the Altezza popularized the clear taillights. And you know what? You're a fighter pilot. So you're just what starting the car with more steps. Yeah. 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 These have cool uh, audio controls. Like you can hide the the uh, the single din for some reason, and then there's a knob that only the driver can use. The knob looks sick. The knob and the the volume switch. I'd play with that knob. Hell yeah, dude. Nah, these had really cool interiors. There was all uh, kinds of cool yeah. stuff going on. And then you look at it when the the radio's put away, and it just looks super simplistic. Because you're in driving mode, dude. You don't have time for driver reading. focused vehicle. <laughs> driving, obviously, yeah. No, this yeah. this car is like fuck passengers. No, basically, yeah. But I mean, any two seat roaster is basically like fuck passengers at this point. As they should be. Mm -hmm. We got a no reserve. Twenty seven original miles on this two thousand eight Dodge Caliber.
SRT4. God damn. 27 miles. God. Yeah, but still, though, I feel like this is one of those things that you just buy just because of how quirky it is. And how yeah. rich you are. I really I don't, don't think know there was a ton of this. these. I don't think there were a ton of these made. I see I don't one. Think so. I see one around my neighborhood all the time in like pristine condition. It's okay. So this is an SRT4. Does it have the same 2.4 liter that the uh, yeah, PT Cruiser the and the SRT4 the Neon had? Yeah. Yep. Why would you pay 27 the... grand for this when you could buy a Neon SRT4? I have this is this on Neon SRT4 miles. 27 miles, 27. Yeah. Like you can't find anything SRT4 to what end? To, to what end? Right. Like, are you. You what? have, yeah. You have $30,000 and this is the car that you're going to spend it on. You have to be a Dodge dealership, right? Like, this has to be sitting in some showroom now. Uh, yeah, probably. I hope so. I really do hope so. Because, I mean, I, I just don't know. Look at that front Man, mount in there. Lights. Those headlights oh, are huge. Wow. Are these things yeah. fuck? They are a oh, lot yeah. of fun to drive. Oh yeah. No, all the SRT4 stuff was cool. One of my coworkers has one. I would daily this absolutely or make it a toy or do something fun with it, but does your coworker know that he's sitting on a gold mine at the moment? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, he has it. He has his like like kind of hopped up. Hmm. So like it's just for a car that it's been what what 15 years since this was driven? Like, what's going to be wrong with it? Hoses. All of your hoses are going to need to be replaced. Yeah. Yeah. It hoses, belts, fluids. Yeah. Do you even, like, try turning it on before doing any oh, tires? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, yeah. like everything it's, will hold. It's, it might leak, but, you know, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, it'll it'll hold, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't question, Donald like... Trump? <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> I wouldn't question like buying it and driving it, but like, yeah, like wear and tear shit like that would need to be need to be replaced. Tires too, if they haven't been. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm sure these are the original tires because again, it only has 27 miles on it. Yeah, right. Hockey pucks at this point, but yeah. Oh, it's got that funny shifter. Oh yeah, yeah it's got the the tucked into the waistband <laughs> shifter. <laughs> Those seats look sick though. Seats look nice. Okay. They, they look like the SRT4 seats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They are nice. They are nice. Like, the whole thing about this was, like, these were sick cars. And, I, again, like I said, I don't think a lot of them were made. You buy this to be, like, that quirky dude. Yeah. Can you feel Oops. your knuckles colliding with those AC controls? Oh, you gotta. Yeah, yeah, surely. My ham hands would be beating the fuck out of that dash every time I upshift. That looks bad. That looks worse than a new Edge Mustang. Have to buy a driving glove with like knuckle protectors <laughs> on it. I this is one little feature of this thing that I really do like, and it's something that I like about most, I guess, FCA products is they just do like the ricer street rod resto mod type shit directly to the cars. Like this is factory. yeah, this is a factory boost gauge just stuffed into where your AC vent should be on the driver's side. Made by auto meter, right? Like, they didn't even... They were just like, mm, let's put the SRT logo in there. Yeah. That'll be that. Yeah. That's really cool. The rest of it isn't. But the engine and this That's boost cool. gauge yeah. are pretty the cool. The rest of it is, like, carry so over cheap. parts yeah. bin dodge shit. Yeah. Uh, I, I, can, I can just feel those. For the AC. I yeah. can feel those just by looking at it. That chode. <laughs> Like, this shared the same center stack as, like, a minivan. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it practically is a crossover SUV. I mean, yeah. at least, at least the rear windows are not crank. Town and country <laughs> SRT. Shout out SRT4 Neon with its crank rear windows. No lights on the vanity mirrors. Full sport. All weight saved. Yeah. <laughs> it's at least 50 pounds in wiring. How is this thing so dirty? <laughs> <laughs> right, for only having 27 miles, I don't want somebody get in here and have their lunch. They were getting in there and farting in it. Yeah, <laughs> farting directly onto the driver's side. Yeah, format. Jesus, look at that format. <laughs> you couldn't even buy a new one? like. Anyway, $27,000 for this thing. Yeah, I think this is a cool, quirky car, but okay. I don't think what, it's $27,000. What, 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 I think that's probably what it went for new. Tw yeah, twenty five five for this thing. But yeah, nobody even... A, nobody bought this, deal. right? No, these like, are very rare, I'm sure. 
No, I mean like this specific one must be like, just held on to by a dealer somewhere, and they find yeah, it. Yeah, look, look at the, it oh, was. Look. It, no, is it is it a zero owner car? Right Carfax one owner vehicle. Mm -hmm. Last report odometer reading was fourteen. <laughs> and last Damn, this, dude, this dude doubled the mileage. Fuck. Leave a comment if you're frisky and smash like if you're down to yiff. Collector car feed. Now with over five hundred six subscribers.